There have been so many lawsuits with YouTubers over the years, I've completely lost count. There was the situation with H3H3 being sued. Thankfully, he won the case, which was like a landmark for fair use. Because the Klein video does not offer a substitute for the original. It does not, and indeed cannot, usurp a market that properly belongs to the copyright holder. The fourth factor thus weighs in favor of a determination of fair use. Oh! <laughs> but this lawsuit here is one where it is basically David versus Goliath in the worst way Damn. possible. This is the story of a YouTuber basically going toe to toe with a huge billion dollar corporation. This lawsuit in question revolves everyone's favorite company, which is Activision, that basically do nothing and just wait around until Microsoft acquires them. And then they release uh, a skin on Call of Duty Warzone every week or two. But the person they're suing, surprisingly enough, is YouTube content creator Anthony Fantano. Now, Anthony Fantano is a creator more on the music side of YouTube. He'll react to music, review it. One thing I do like about him is the fact that he will react to YouTubers that release music and just say it is the worst thing imaginable. I'm not saying that this little dude is Martin Luther King, but I'm not saying that he's not. It's not a sure thing. What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? And another thing I like about him as well is there are numerous compilations on YouTube of him hating a music artist and then gradually learning to love them. Like, for example, Blade, who I listen to, like, religiously because, of course I do, I'm indoors, like, 20 hours a day. There's a video of him on YouTube just saying the music sucks, it's awful, and then eventually it snaps and he's like, oh my god, I actually get it. I mean, not only is the autotune on this record lazily applied, uh, completely uninspired and actually grating to the ear. I really messed with this record. It really does hit with an otherworldly sound and a super low-key beauty. Basically, I like Fantano because I only listened to like three music albums in my entire life and he gives most of them a 9 or a 10. <laughs> so I'm a little bit biased going into this, I'll be honest. Now, Activision's claim of suing him is really, really weird. They're saying that he was misusing intellectual property laws by threatening to sue TikTokers over widely memed audio clips. Now, if you didn't know, Anthony Fantano has a TikTok account called Needle Talk because his show itself is called The Needle Drop. Now, apparently what Fantano is doing is making other creators pay extortionate amounts of money for people that use his stuff. Like, for example, audio clips of him that are, you know, being memed on. The clip in particular that seems to be referenced is this meme he does where he says, enough slices. All right, that's good. Okay, okay. All right, okay, all right. Okay, that's good. That's good. It's... It's enough slices! So Activision are basically accusing him of misusing intellectual property laws by threatening to selectively sue specific TikTokers that use that meme. So basically they're saying that instead of him going for everyone, he'd like pick and choose. They're almost kind of implying that he's basically sat there going, if that isn't funny, I'm going to claim the revenue off that. Keep in mind, by the way, he was suing people for using the audio, not the actual video itself. Because as you know, the way TikTok works, it can literally make careers overnight. It's insane. And if it doesn't make careers overnight, it'll definitely revive them. For example, Crystal Castles, they've been disbanded for years. That They don't make music anymore because of the situation between the two people in the band, Alice Glass and Ethan Kath. You can read more into it. But they don't make music anymore. But regardless of that, their hits on Spotify have jumped up to millions just because... I I'm sure you've heard it, uh, the, the song Kerosene that's slowed down and it's got like all the Sigma TikToks like, oh, it's so deep, it's literally me. Now, you're probably wondering... Why are Activision getting involved in this? Why are they being involved in the business of Anthony Fantano going around and like, you know, doing lawsuits on people reusing his content? Well, apparently someone used an audio clip in reaction to the announcement of a new Crash Bandicoot game. And they said that Anthony made the clip available through the TikTok's audio library, meaning that he can't sue hundreds of thousands of creators, but still chose to use it. They've said themselves in this very lengthy statement, this dispute is a textbook example of how intellectual property laws can be misused. <laughs> I'm not reading all that. I'll, I'll put it on the screen. I'm, I'm not reading all that. The lawyers proceeded to say in the least bitter way possible, Fantano was very happy to receive the benefit of the public use of the Slices video. It was only after he identified a financial opportunity, namely receiving unjustified settlement payments, that he suddenly decided that his consent was limited. So basically what I think the lawyers are trying to say is you either claim all the videos or you claim none of them. You can't selectively pick and choose which ones you want to claim. Now keep in mind the original TikTok video that went viral, I 
think it was all the way back in 2021, so it isn't recent. It's basically over the past two years that it's gone super viral. Apparently, at one point, he even also opted into the commercial sounds library, which basically means that that audio clip could be commercially used in brands. Now, in Fantano's original statement, he basically went on to say, the use of the clip not only used his name and likeness rights without permission, but it also violated federal trademark laws by suggesting he had endorsed the company's game. Now, I do want to make a very brave statement, something that uh, no one has actually talked about. Activision is not the best and most loyal company imaginable. They're actually pretty shady. I'm sure I don't need to go into detail about all the sexual assault allegations that were circulating for the past year or so. But regardless of that, Activision agreed to pull the clip, like, like to take it out, take it out in the back garden and just shoot it. But that wasn't enough for the Fantano. And he basically said, you need to pay me extensively in damages or be prepared to defend a lawsuit. Now, I do want to say the balls of Fantano to take Activision to court. I, I, that, that is godly. You are taking a billion dollar company to court. Your Honor, my client has instructed me to remind the court how rich and important he is, and that he is not like other men. I should be able to use as many sounds as I want. <laughs> Honestly, the way the court system works, especially in America, I don't even think it's who's innocent or who's guilty. It really is. It does just come down to who has more money. Now, we don't know how much Fantano actually asked for, but what Activision are allegedly saying is a six-figure sum. And also that other companies have tried to pay similar amounts to avoid litigation. So at the minute, what Activision are doing is seeking something called a declaratory ruling, which basically means that Fantano can't sue anyone after this clip, which is like... The fact that Activision are trying to be like man of the people over here, it, it, it's completely dystopian. They're also obviously trying to get him to repay, so he pays like the company's bills. Now at the minute, Fantano actually hasn't gave a response. He didn't return a comment in the article, and I probably don't think he will because this is like an ongoing legal situation. And the worst thing you can do during a legal situation is give any kind of insight or opinion. That's kind of why everyone's hush hush, because you can fumble it. If you say something contradictory, or basically you say anything, it will get twisted in court. Especially when you're like a YouTuber or an e-celeb, because the court can basically say, the you Using, they're using their audience to harass us. Stop him. Stop him now. But yeah, overall, this is a very weird situation. I'm definitely not on Activision's side, and I've been a huge fan of Fantano for, for years. I don't regularly watch him anymore, but again, like, Jesus, this sounds so parasocial. He gave albums I like a good rating, and also, I did, like, feature on a podcast with him once with uh, no fuckers, like, Jesus, that was, like, four or five years ago. I've never had a bad experience with the guy. He seems like a very good, honest creator. Most people that I know that hate him hate him just because, like, there's an album they liked and he gave it like a three or something but yeah it's a really weird situation uh, honestly if i get the video out today and critical hasn't covered it it's, it's a small dub i'll, t I'll take it